Hey guys, this is Jam of Jamaonline.ph and we have here the Huawei Mate X 5G. So you might think that the 5G is its main feature. Well, the 5G is just one of its main feature because the Huawei Mate X is actually a foldable smartphone. So yes, you could actually fold the display of the smartphone and it is one of the first foldable smartphone in the market aside from the Samsung Galaxy Fold and the other generic foldable smartphone that I forgot the name because it's so generic. Anyway, one of the main features of this smartphone is its uh, Balong 5000 uh, 5G modem, which is really cool. This is this is a 7 nanometer 5G modem. It is the fastest 5G modem that uh, you can get in the market. And of course, there's the 8 inch display. Then you fold it, you got here uh, the 6.6 .6 inch display and the 6.38 inch display. As you can see, you can actually uh, notice that uh, it automatically switches to the display uh, where you're facing. So there we go. So it's really easy to use and it's really, really cool. Aside from that, we got a triple lens like a camera in which one of it is a ultra wide angle lens, similar to how the Huawei Mate 20 uh, works with a triple lens camera. It's still made by Leica. It's still partnered with Leica. That's why the smartphone's camera is still awesome. And we don't have a front camera to this one because the rear camera or this camera over here is actually the selfie camera. So how do you use that? Well, all you need to do is to uh, fold the smartphone like this and then just use the smartphone like this. So there's, uh, this is still a prototype, but so far you can see that uh, I could use the camera like this, selfie camera, put the phone to take the rear shot. So there we go, just flip the phone. There we go, and then I could actually use that. Or I could actually use this one, like this one, and then, yeah. It's really cool. Again, there's this an 8-inch display on the Huawei Mate X, and as you can see, the display aspect ratio is kind of different. But it does make sense when you're typing on the smartphone. Why, as you can see on the display, it's actually uh, perfectly fit for uh, using for two hands when you're using it like this. And when you're using it like this, the keyboard actually makes sense. And it does feel comfortable to the hand despite its thickness. It's not thin. It's actually thick because it's a foldable smartphone. But the ergonomics is quite good because of the curved back and the curved uh, display over here. It is not snapping when it comes to this, but it does snap when you're folding it like this. And then there's a button that you can use to unsnap uh, the Huawei Mate. Right. Let's talk about the display of the smartphone. We got this 8 inch display over here. And as you can see, we got the hinge over here. The problem with the display is that there are creases over here. Only konting lookot in Tagalog dito sa uh, display na smartphone. But Huawei promises that uh, they'll improve the camera of the smartphone. And um, yeah, I, did, I really didn't have any problems with this one. So it is not using glasses as expected because it's a portable smartphone. And they're using a polymer display on this one but it doesn't feel like plastic it doesn't feel cheap it actually feels good to that it feels like glass however when you're touching the middle part you can actually feel the creases on it but don't worry it's not that annoying even when i'm playing games on the smartphone uh so when it comes to ports well this one doesn't have a headphone jack but it does have a usb-c over here and then there's the uh ergonomic ergonomically uh, designed over here so you can actually uh, use this smartphone uh, very comfortable even with one hand because there's a curve over here and then this one this part is actually thin this part is where the camera and the bottom uh, to unsnap the smartphone this one is thicker but still uh, comfortable to the hand even when you're using the Huawei Mate X in one hand like this but if you're using it like this you will actually feel that the Huawei Mate X is a little bit thick. Okay, going back, so this is the Huawei Mate X, and as you can see, I want to show you some of the application. So, I'm gonna open this one. So this is the uh, Huawei Mate X, and uh, we're using uh, the Chrome browser, as you can see. It is really perfect uh, to use uh, with this one on the one it's open but when you fold it as you can see it automatically switches to the best fit uh best well if it's a responsive uh website you can see very comfortable to use very responsive Wala kang problema when you're switching to it and the best thing about having this display over here is that when you swipe up i believe yeah so swipe up so you can see you've got two windows you can actually open another application 
example YouTube, so I'm gonna search them online. Well, uh, the speaker is just fine, not really that great, but you know, it's not the best speaker, but I'm really satisfied with it. So this is the uh, website, this is my website, and this is Google Chrome, this is YouTube. So as you can see, it works uh, seamlessly, simultaneously, so nagpapatakot ang video dito, and then the other one is the Chrome browser. So the best part, let's go to the best part about the display of the smartphone. So um, let's go back, let's open this one, so yeah, as you can see, Really large display. I know what you're you're thinking. You're probably thinking about game. Well, guys, so post muna natin. So prediction post and open. Open ang gusto. I'm gonna open Mobile Legends. It's one of the best used na uh, display. So let's wait for Mobile Legends to open. Okay, guys. So right now we're running Mobile Legends, one of the most famous mobile games here in the Philippines. As you can see, we got here. It's a very simple uh, game. Na makikita niyo well. We got the wide screen over here. Yeah, it's perfect for gaming. We got a wide screen, uh, better view of the map of uh, the enemies. However, this is the best part about it. Once you unsnap the display, open it. We actually have a larger display, and as you can see here. It's really cool that a larger display, which is which means that you have a wider view, a better view of the map of the character. This is a big advantage when you're playing games like mobile, uh, like Mobile Legends. And I'm not sure if PUBG Mobile supports this one or RAW supports this one, but this is a big advantage when you're playing games like uh, Battle Royale games. So yeah, you can easily see the enemies by just moving the view when you're using third-person uh, view. So yeah. Actually, seamless the man yung kanyang pad switch. So again, going back from the big display to the folded one, yeah, it automatically switches to that one. So I hope that a lot of uh, manufacturers uh, will adapt to this one or to the developers will adapt to under continuity or the foldable display because having this kind of display, you know, foldable one, going from the normal smartphone display like this to a tablet display like this, this one is really awesome. It's a big advantage when it comes to gaming. When you're playing PUBG Mobile, again, Ross, Mobile Legends, and a lot of things. And speaking of uh, the display, well, despite the creases over here, it's like it doesn't really annoy me. Wala nagi problema sa akin. I actually played this game kanina on the previous, uh, on the way, on the other Mate X. And naglaro ko ng konte ng uh, Mobile Legends. I didn't have any problems with that. Even the hinge, so hindi naman siya flimsy masyado and medyo solid siya. However, I still uh, want to have a snap sana when it's folded like this. Because when you fold it like this, the smartphone actually snaps. But you need to press the button to unsnap it. But yeah, I actually prefer that uh, the smartphone will snap when you have it like this. So, sayang. Pero hindi naman siya nagpo-fold basta-basta. So, when you're playing games and kahit ganun ganun na konti, yes, nagpo-fold siya as you can see here. But, it doesn't really annoy me and you can actually easy to, uh, you can actually fold it ng ganito, na nakabukas. So, wala naman so clever. So, yeah. Medyo may problems right now with the application. So, I still suggest that you open the Mobile Legends application ng mas malaking display para hindi ka magkamayon ng problems sa buttons like this. Yeah, so may hindi nyo kita yung button, but once you uh, use it like this, yeah. So kita nyo naman na wala na magiging problema sa buttons pag nakagano siya. So the first time na open mo yung Mobile Legends, it's better to use it in uh, tablet mode para hindi natataklupan yung buttons like this. But yeah, the thing is it's working and the developers needs uh, need to adapt to this kind of display. So yeah, I guess that's it for a short hands-on of the Huawei Mate X 5G. Again, the smartphone is really awesome, not just because of the foldable display, the 5G, but for gaming, this is a big game changer. I'm actually looking forward to thinner smartphones like this and hopefully lighter. But yeah, this is the start of the era of foldable smartphones. So this 2019 probably will see more foldable smartphones from different manufacturers. But hopefully we'll get to see more cheaper foldable smartphones because I'm medyo mahal din siya. But yeah, this is the Huawei Mate X 5G. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, now is, the, now is the time to subscribe. So once again, I'm John, JamaOnline.ph, and thanks for watching our hands-on off the Huawei Mate X 5G.